We're gonna handshakes at the beginning of the game. This is a new thing we're doing. It's smarter than trying to handshake at the end of these games. Sometimes that's not advisable. So we have the Dorchester Dragons U18B taking on the St. Mary's Rock U18B. Hard been starting a net for the Dragons. And the other tender, St. Mary's number one. Occupy their woven hut. We're actually getting a fuller bench than we've had in previous games. It's good to see some kids coming back from injury and illness. And with that, we got our first stop to play it. Seven seconds in. Might be a record for this year. Come back here, puck must come out of play. Lines are making sure everybody's set up right. Thomas is able to get across the line. Keaton picks it up, sends it over to his partner, Norton. Norton sends that along the boards and into the St. Mary's end. A little bit of pitch and catch here. Now Dorchester tagging up. And the defender for St. Mary's comes out down to get it. Battle in the corner. Curry trying to come out with it. Wilsey comes out with it. Shot on the keeper and covers up. No rebound. Stop as you play at 14-24 and the left in the first two. Clark sends that back in to the further end of the St. Mary's end. Johnston battling hard behind the net there. Sends it out, so we'll see there. Nope, that was McClellan. With the shot off the side of the slot. Johnston now picks it up. Gonna go back to the D. No, he goes against the boards. Send back in towards the keeper. He's gonna cover up. Get a whistle. Start again. Back to the point. Norton with a shot on net. Wide of the net. Devine chasing his man down against the boards, but they get it out. And send it down the ice. Norton comes back for it. Carey follows up. Sends it against the boards. Able to tip it up a little further. Now they get it out. Got two on two forming up here. Devine across the line. Man streaking in front of Candy. He gets a stick on it. Gets it into the keeper's legs, but no further. Closes them up like a steel trap. And we get a stop to play. Kerr wins the draw, back to Carey. Carey goes for shot on net, it's off the keeper's pad. Straight through. Carey backing up a bit here. Timing that breakout. Now Thomas back on his man. Forcing him to go backwards. Try the other side. Now Kerr is on it. Sends it away from St. Mary's player. Now flicks it out across the line. Now they get it across. Thomas now breaking into the zone. And a little crisscrossing there. Shot off a leg wide. Kerr sends it out in front. Fortunately, the St. Mary's stick was there to knock it away. And out of play in the St. Mary's bench. Seemed to avoid all the coaches, which is very fortunate. I don't think a ball cap would be able to protect you from a pocket fire at you. A cowboy hat that the other rat coach had earlier might have been. It looks pretty awesome. Keaton with a shot in. That's off of Kerr's leg. That one's wider than that. McClellan sends it back to the point. Smith sends it back down low to McClellan. McClellan trying to sift one out in front. Kerr is there. Hey! He tucks it in. Able to do a little spinorama shot there. So that'll be... Uh, Kura from McClellan and Smith on the first goal. Get ready for the puck.
puck drop here at 12.28. Dorchester takes the lead. Ooh, I can actually do this now. I'm not since I'm... You guys won't see this on YouTube, but I'm live streaming the game on Facebook, so I'm actually able to get my overlay again. Trying to be a little pro in this league. Maybe one day my talents will make it to Junior C. Who knows? St. Mary's intercepting that pass that was coming out front. Clark trying to do his Rockettes impersonation. That didn't work out. Hardman with a blocker save. Goes off the glass, off the back of his net. And now Carey brings it out off his skate, moving it back and forward around the player. Still got it, coming across the line. Uh, back on it again, kind of lost track of it behind the net there. Now sends it back to point. Clark now sends a shot in off the keeper's pad. Devine's going to pick it up in the corner. Just send it back around. Johnson's after it with his man in the corner. Back to the same area. Perry pucks it out through the neutral zone. And that's knocked down by Carey. Carey able to get to the blue line no further. And Clark's able to get it back up to center ice. Sending it in deep to McClellan. He's now chasing after it, sends it in further. St. Mary's looking to break this out, tipping it through the center. Now he got it crossing the line. Onside. And Norton's going to be the first on into the corner. Sides up. Just off his stick a little. Just stand on that clearing attempt. St. Mary's now trying to bring in through some speed. Trying to sift that one up front. Hardeman's there though. Direct that one away from danger. Caton brings it out. At the line, that's offside. Just had to make an extra move there and cause Kate to jump. Lines was in position. And that's the end of that. 10.37 left in the first period. Dorchester wins the draw. Smith to, what? That was a little delayed. And win the draw again. Off the boards and out of play. We don't have souvenir pucks like they do at the Junior C. So we would wish someone bring give that puck back to us. And send that boy down. That boy on the top steps there. Yeah, he's going down. He's going to grab the puck. He's probably going to keep it for himself. That's okay. You now have a puck that says you own it. Oh, nice try getting that across. Keeper's there though. Puck drop. Clark trying to get it, on, but St. Mary's player got around him. Smith playing this two on one. Draw wide of the net. We'll see not close that one across the blue line over the stick of the St. Mary's defender. And he plays a little pitch and catch with his partner. Oh, goes across. That's just off the Wilson's staff and stick. Johnston now sending that back in deeper. St. Mary's now breaking out of their zone and circling back. Johnson steals the puck from him. Going through one man, gets a shot off. Puck's behind the net. Gonna be held in the line by Norton there. He sends it in uh, not much deeper. Now it gets out. And St. Mary's circle back. He now getting some space to skate through the neutral zone here. He gets across the blue line. And the far man jump. According to the linesman. Which then I'll agree with because that's favorable for us. 9.27 remaining in the first period. At least I laugh at my own jokes. Mm, no one else does. I digress. Back to the play. Carey's going to chase this one down to the corner. He's got one man on him. Norton flicks side up. Nice play there, kind of flicking it out. Does just get the line, but not out. Now it does. A neutral zone backhand flick in by St. Mary's. Player posts up and goes back for it. Smart play all the time. Don't do a flyby. Oh, we we'll just talk about flybys. Gary going to pick that one up in the corner and try to send that out, but it's knocked down by the St. Mary's player. Does skip out past the blue line, past the defender. St. Mary's player in deep. 
Johnston has tons of room to send this pass up, and they do get it across the line, but not deep. McClellan noticed that, comes back on his player. Be nice if he's been able to get back to lift that guy's stick before he shot it in, but ah. Gates sending over in the corner. St. Mary's player was the only guy there. We'll see. Uh, goes for the puck, but the other St. Mary's player didn't go for the puck. He's went for the check. He going wide now. Got a play to move it down the ice. Uh, a little bit of fan job there, but we'll see. Not able to get it in deep. St. Mary's player blows the tires. Blue line. Last game in Strathroy would have caused the home fans to start booing him for stopping. Not here. We're good. Hockey playing fans. Candy breaking in. Trying to get it back in to fire towards the net there, but wasn't able to get there. Now just trying to force it out front. Thomas over there with him. Yeah, gave him an option. He goes back up to point. Caton, Caton, pass it over to Smith. Smith gets a shot off. It's blocked out front. Keeper didn't know where it went. Dorchester unable to get it in on him. Penalty or off. Offside? Excellent. I like that call too. Got an icing penalty here at 732. Picked up off the dot by Dorchester. The keeper's got it. No further action there. Gotta get this guy moving side to side. Directly on him seems to be stable. Lesson in geometry. If you shoot a 90 degree uh, or puck 90 degrees at the board, it doesn't really go at an angle. That's your learning teaching moment. Clark battling there. John? Nope. That was Bockert battling there. He's got his jersey tucked in. He almost ate. Looks like a zero. Devine intercepting that. Got what he's being hounded from behind. Hardman setting that up for his D man behind the net. Got a little bit of miscommunication there. Kura breaks up on this one and gets it across the line, bouncing around a little bit. He's got it on the stick, looking for someone open. Ideally, someone with the speed moving towards that. Goes with a clapper, but that stick check came in from number 17 from St. Mary's. Find me that opportunity. Now St. Mary's gains across the line, goes around one defender, sends a shot on net, on the keeper, hard to there for two saves. One off the rebound, and Dorchester ices this puck. Get a line change in and just recompose on that. 624 remaining here in the first period. Dorchester, a one nothing lead. Shot wide in the net by the St. Mary's defense. Dorchester able to get that back out. Number five, the Mike Cedar has it, sends it off the boards and down in the Dorchester end. Dorchester play a little pitch and catch. Ah, a little pitch. Gotta make that catch. Oh, St. Mary's tipping it into the zone. Norton comes back for it. He sends it off the high, off, off the high part of the boards and down the ice. Thomas now chasing his defender down. Off the glass this time by St. Mary's, and they get it down to the Dorchester end. Now up in the neutral zone. Bit of a ricochet around there, now Caton has it. Sends up to Norton. Ooh, a little dangerous. Dangerous reception there. If he had actually cleanly received it, he might have not been standing up. Well, she knocks that pass down. He sends it in to the St. Mary's end. Defender was there. Got his leg on it enough though. Bakker picks up that puck and sends it in a little further. St. Mary's not going to go try the other side. So they've got more room there, and they do. They get it out past the blue line. Dorchester still tagging up. Now they're good. St. Mary's going for a long stretch pass there. Over. I don't know how anyone's going to receive that pass when it goes everybody's head at the blue line. But fair enough. Icing. 5-0-2. Getting ready for the drop here. One by St. Mary's. Again, geometry playing a part in this game. Angles. It's all about angles. St. Mary's had the puck. Players falling. St. 
Smith sends it over to Clark. Oh, geez, we've been right by zoomed out so you can see the whole play. It's in neutral zone. The lock close and we get in the far side. St. Mary's with it. Now bring it across the line. They got some speed coming across. Send a shot in, or pass across. Up the player stick into his face. He's got a cage though. That'll be okay. Curry now picks that puck up. Gets it up to the vine. Misses that pass. But it's further in the zone. Now the St. Mary's defense fires it off his skate. It bounces up to the St. Mary's player. I swear to God, we gotta check the uh, composite of this puck. I think there's a lot more rubber in it. In the, Another one, very bouncy. Cross the line, we'll see how, oh, McClellan has it. Nice sifting shot there, it's loose. Does not go in, I thought he might have gotten even with a skate potentially, if it did. We would have had to go to Toronto, some video review. St. Mary's defenseman trying to help the goalie out there and he's able to. Well you don't, while well, the captions are coming through, that means at least I understand my words. We're not playing Mount Bridges, so it doesn't come up as Mount Burgers. That's, Fortunate, just St. Mary's Rock. I only know English, so I can't test Spanish or anything else for the translation. Norton now for the puck in the corner. Bowen battling his man there. St. Mary's get it back to the point. Send a shot in, that's off the block of Harden. Terry chasing his man there. He posts up on the net. Puck's loose. Going for a hit was Johnson. Now St. Mary's going around the other side. See if they get some more space out there. Looking for a pass up front. They got a player streaking in through the slot. That's going to come out. Bockert's going to pick this one up here. He's got some space to skate up. He must have heard my recommendation of pulling his jersey out a bit more. He's got the puck still going towards the keeper. Now able to set it out front, but Johnston had his stick tied up as the player skated through his hands. Smith now has the puck, sends it back to Clark. Clark now sends it in. That's tipped into the zone, but right on the stick of the St. Mary's defender, who looks for someone streaking in to pass to. Clark has to be able to knock it over. Just get back up on your feet, don't worry about it. Back on the play. St. Mary's sending it off the player. Hand pass. Hand pass. Not the best motion for, for an infraction, but... And he gets the job done. Face off outside the St. Mary's and Dorchester wins it. Now Clark sends that into Devine. Devine sends it into the zone. Candy sending it out to. Oh, nice play there. It's Caden with a goal from Candyman and Devine. And with that, Dorchester goes up by two. Two twenty-nine left in the first period. Dorchester up by two. Candy battling on that face-off win. Uh, St. Mary's player jumped there at the line. Yeah, it's a sneaky play to try to get in the zone and get set up early, but generally it's puck than body. I remember that. Thing. The younger days. Oh, whistle's going around. Yeah, because it was intentional, I guess. Lines been in doing a little conference here. Oh, we're going back here. All right, fair enough. Overruled, he says. Yeah. Clark, move there to try to spin around. That's going to go high and over the net. Played up there, now tipping it through the, to the neutral zone. Now kick forward. Got a break here. Candy all alone. Oh, huge save by the netminder. Blocking the streaking Candy. He did try to get the keeper to move a little bit there. Just not able to get it to move enough to open up a hole to fire it through. We'll see battling hard in the corner there. Now sends it back to the point. It's in the skates of Norton, but he comes up with it. Sends it through the legs of the St. Mary's player. And that puck should be in the St. Mary's zone and it will be for a faceoff. Kura here with the draw. 
Face off one back to Carey. He sends it in behind the net in the opposite corner. Wilson's chasing after it. St. Mary's player come, comes up with it, but Wilson keeps battling hard. Curra comes over to support him. He's looking to gain some space to get around. Face the other way. That's through the wickets on the one time attempt by Norton. That's going to be called offside. A lot of spinning around and the puck coming out and coming back in. Ah. Minute 21. Oh, now that one's coming down over here. So that, he gets his way finally. Lines almost trying to instill his authority. Now he's got the puck, so he's got the authority. St. Mary's bringing it into the zone. A few minutes, you can see the play. You think it's my first rodeo? Carey has it come from behind the back of the net. Sends it out to the blue line no further. Shot in. Hardman with a stick save, sending that to the corner. Carey back up after a little episode in the corner. Seems to be favoring the leg a little bit there, but he's back on it now. You know, he's seems to be good flicking that up off the uh, roof and look at a stoppage in play. You ready for the drop here? John's been coming in for it. 46 seconds left in the first. Smith sends that off the dasher. Going for a little tip there on McClellan. Didn't get enough of it to get it out. Shot from the point. Hard to be catching the bread basket. And we got a stoppage at 39.2. First off and one by Dorchester. Smith has it behind his net. 34 seconds left in the first period. Devine gets a pass out through the neutral zone. Just missed Johnson's stick. Johnson now back on it, stealing it off the St. Mary's player. Cutting towards the net. Unable to get it directed there, but it goes wide. Pucks over in the corner. Everybody kind of went the other way. Johnson, I think, thought the guy in the back had it. It's like a football play. Smith going for a hit, but the puck went past him. Six seconds left here. Smith winding up, going to get this one out. Oh, no, oh, just dropped it there for Clark, but didn't tell him. He saw that misconnection. Answers it and sends it back to neutral zone at the end of play. Is it ready for the start of the second here? Well, you know, so we don't have music for this game. It's probably fortunate because then I won't get flagged for copyright infringement. I did have a video that was banned in Russia a while ago. Couldn't, don't even remember the song. That'd be a good trivia. What songs can get you banned from Russia? Pretty much any song get you banned from China. Probably just me saying that probably gets me banned in China. Chess chasing out of it. Kate okay, comes back to help support. Devine now has it. He sends it back across the blue line. St. Mary's is tagging up. Going for the high guy. Nice play there by Candy. Back to Devine who slingshotting past. He gets past his man. Still has to come back on the puck. Sent back to the point. Carries there. He's back after a rest during the intermission. Norton holds that one in. Sent back across. Now sent back in deep, Candy. Shot over up there by Thomas. Now it sends back to the point by Keaton. Pucks loose up front. That's definitely a high stick. But the goalie played it and he's going to hold on to it. Keaton lost his stick. I don't know what's going on right now. A lot of action, but definitely a high stick. You cannot score a goal by doing that. Fortunately, it goes off the top of the net and then the keeper catches it. Our keeper holds on to it. And 13.56 remaining here in the second. One back. Norton sends a shot through. Ooh, does get through to the keeper. We'll see back on it. Thomas looking for a play up front. It goes to Kerr, but did not have that stick loaded up. Norton holds it at the line, sends it back in deeper, but not all the way. Now he holds it in again. We'll see now sends that pass to the defender. Thomas going to pick that up behind the net. He circles back. He's pivoting around in the corner. Like Slippery the Seal. I don't know if he's still at Marine Land. I don't even know if Marine Land's still open. Really shouldn't be. Sent in there. Off the keeper's stick. 
behind the net or behind the icing line there. Now trying to sit the shot through. It's loose out the front. Referee blows the whistle. Players are bumping away. And we gotta stop from playing. Kura is going off red contact, 7.27 for St. Mary's going off. That should be offsetting penalties. Roughing and head contact, or four minute head contact, so I wish she'd... St. Mary's will go on a two minute power play. Four minute penalty coming to Kura. Two minute penalty coming to the St. Mary's Rock player. Thomas going to the box to serve the extra two. So when the two minutes are up, he can come out of the box. Someone can come out of the box. The penalty will be done. Sends it up front, it's there, but loose. Back to the point, but St. Mary's holds it in. Go back over the other D, was moved in a bit more, but nobody was there for that tip up front. Dorchester looking to get to it, but the St. Mary's defender had pinched in enough, angled enough to be able to keep that one in. And St. Mary's going back around. Still, oh, he went through and made contact with Hardeman up front. Nobody's back up, no worse for wear, and tipped up front, held there. Now it's held by Hardeman. Stop and play. And 1231, you gotta be wise. Could be coming from anywhere. Even your own team. Face off down to the Dorchester. St. Mary's on still minute 15 on the penalty of the Dorchester. Out of there at the line. St. Mary's now wiring up for that hard shot. Wide that. St. Mary's now passing back to the point. Walking the line a bit, sends it down low, deep. Nice move there by Hardeman coming across. I don't know if the player got all that directed in. Nice move there by Norton. He's going to get up. Fox goes for the body. Colin comes in to do the cleanup. Norton picks that up and sends it down the length of the ice. Keeper sets it up for his D man. McClellan battling back there. Oh, I almost came up with that one. Fun? No, oh, it's his fault. He just, he just says, my fault, my fault, my bad. Center ice. Pretty center ice, because make a mistake, you were coming out, so. Everybody's learning at this point of the season, I guess. If someone's gonna admit it's their fault, I, I gotta, you gotta be. Flicked out to the zone. Oh, smart play by the defender there. Just knocked that away from Devine. He would get on his sick. He would have been on his horse, skating as hard as he could down the ice. Dorchester getting a little more time and sending that off the glass and out. St. Mary's sending it back up through. Keaton out there on the penalty, kills the forward. Smith now after it, he's got the puck, comes up with it, sends it off the glass and out. Now he's inspired, back to even strength. Smith has that in deep. Now he goes up for the high guy, or the guy blue line. Now it's tipped into the zone. Candy chasing it down before it crosses the blue, across the icing line. Goes for a shot, let's pluck it off a keeper and out of play. Chester win the draw. Norton has it. Sends a shot off. That's just off the keeper and over the net. Looking to drop it in behind. Like a mortar shot. Nice shot in there and quick on the keeper, but right into his bread basket. Again, they are making a move a little bit, but just a little bit. Not enough. 
Nice to see him going side to side and really having to push across. Especially after faking out. Air pressure looks good. And then there, a little scramble, but they're back on it. St. Mary's trying to get on it to get it out. Get it up to the half boards. Hits the ref or linesman in the posterior and keeps in. He looks a little concerned. He seems to be okay. Right through everybody. Oh, it deflected? Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite sure what it deflected off of, but sometimes that happens in a game. I've seen pucks be deflected when it just went off the glass at 100 miles an hour. Tip wide of the net by the St. Mary's defenseman. He sends it off the glass and down the ice. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Well going up racing. Norton's going to pick it up just for across the line. Sends it back over his partner, Carey. Carey goes back across the green. Nobody was there on the point for St. Mary's. Now the forward comes back. We saw his player in the zone. He had to hold up. And then was pressured by the uh, Dorchester forwards. Now, Wilsey comes away with it. Turns away, cuts through one man, gets a nice shot on the keeper, but again, straight at the keeper. He never had to move. 9.26 <clears throat> remaining here in the second period. Score is still Dorchester 2. St. Mary's, nothing. Face off one by Johnson, back to Smith. Smith over to his partner, Clark. Clark looking for a shot through. That's off the keeper stick. Uh, and goes wide of the net. Johnson now picking up from behind, trying to tap it back over to Wilsey. Wilsey getting free. Looking for the point, finds Smith. He goes for a shot in. That's all. Missed the tip there by Johnson. Puck is loose up front. St. Mary's going to come away with it. He comes skating out. He goes trying to split the D. He's just going to post up against on the by the blue line that's sent a shot in into the far corner. He picked up there by St. Mary's. They sent it around the other side. And that'll be held at the point by 20. Sent back in deep. Johnston has that come off his stick. St. Mary's sent it back up front. Hardeman's there for the slot shot. And there's no rebound on that one. Whistle at 8.38. Left in the second. Face off down in the Dorchester end. One back by Dorchester. Hotly one back. Bounces off the skate and gets to the end boards. Devine here with a break. He's cutting through. He gets across the blue line. Just a little off the stick up front. But it does get into the zone. Now, Carey sends a shot in just wide of the net. First man back there after it is Devine. He chips it up and unable to corral that one. Now it's off the skate. St. Mary's clubbed that one out to the neutral zone. And that's backhanded in the zone. Dorchester tagging up at the same time. Going for the high guy there, but that's sniffed up by Norton. He sends it back across towards the blue line, but not over. St. Mary's now breaking it in. They go with a weak backhand wider than that. That's going to be not sent out by Dorchester. I was hoping it would have been. Not enough mustard there to flip that over the line. St. Mary's going for a change. Close to too many men. That shot up off a stick and over the net. Nice play there. Blair coming off the bench though. Thought he had a lean, but he didn't. Shot off a stick and wide of the net. He's still battling on it. Puck's still there. Kate, has got it. St. Mary's whipping around the other side. Oh, that was poorly timed by the St. Mary's forward coming out of his own. Nice move there by Carey going around the defender. He saw the puck and a stick. Johnson comes up with it. He just flips in the corner for McClellan, who went for a hit, but the player did not go for the puck. Puck's still behind the net. St. Mary's looking to bring it out now. Go for the wide guy. That's off of Carson Smith, or Carson Thomas' stick, or skate. He goes out of the neutral, and Dorchester sends it right back in. St. Mary's again going for the long stretch pass. Again, knocked down by the Dorchester defense, and it's like a slingshot attempt. They can't touch the puck. They're offside. Sent in to the Dorchester Drone. That should be icing, but they waved it off for some inexplicable reason. Probably similar to the other deflection that didn't happen. Nice stick check there by St. Mary's, but Dorchester come back with it again. 
it gets to the blue, just past the blue line. Players on the blue line, they're calling it outside because the skates were on the other side of it, even though his head and torso were on the other part. So he's at 52 on block, but it's 18 on block. He recorrected himself. It's good. That all works. Dorchester will go on a two minute power play here. There's a two minute slashing penalty coming to St. Mary's, 18. One back by Candy. Clark sends it back down low. That's off the skate. And sent the length of the ice. Hardeman steers that towards the corner. And that's where Carey will pick it up, send it over to Clark against the boards. That doesn't get anywhere. It hits the linesman or the referee. And doesn't get down to its intended target. If it was going to its intended target. Now up to Wilson. Wilson has it. He sends it wide. Clark's picking that up. And carries it across the line looking for someone to throw it to. Throws it back to the back of Wilsey skate. That is really tough to. Oh, picked up before the line by Wilsey. Decided to come back for it. Maybe it was a set play all along. Off the keeper's mask, right down in front of him. Clark sends that just wide of the net. Held at the line by Carey. Sends it in deep. Thomas picks that up. Candy spinning around. He gets it over to Wilsey. Wilsey gets shot, but the keeper had his pad over for a save. They did get the goalie moving there, but he actually recovered on that one and get in a better position to make that pad safe. St. Mary's now they kill off some more time by sending the puck down. They're trying to get a line change in. Going off the high side, Dorchester with a bit of a change. Quick change, nice redirect there. I think another one off the keeper's melon. They didn't go out, but the referee had lost sight of it. So we got a whistle. 41 seconds left in the penalty to St. Mary's. Lots of excitement, lots of plastic being hit down on the visitor's end. No goals thus far on this power play. Back over to Smith. Smith now sends it up. Just out of Keaton's reach. St. Mary's now looking to ice the puck. Hardeman looking to set that up. Norton sends that off the boards. Smith recovers on it. St. Mary sent it back in. Norton's now back on it. Now he sends it over for Smith. He's going to pivot around back in there. Now playing that out. Kura now has it. Oh, yeah. Kura keeps in. Oh, it goes to move this off a stick. It almost like it's maybe a set play, but I don't know what it was. Smith now has it there. Sends a rocket shot onto the net. Fluttering all the way. 3.55 left in the second period. Dorchester up 2-0. Penalty has expired. We're back to five aside hockey. Face off down in the St. Mary's end. McClellan, nope, Johnson on it now. He tries to go around the defender. McClellan tries to poke it through, back down to Johnston. Bockert now has it. He sends it over to McClellan, that's off of Bockert's skate. Now back to McClellan. Sending it wide, the defenseman had pinched in, that was Norton. Smith now pinching in. He's gone a little deeper, he's dealing with some slashing. Norton holding that puck in there, he got a forward protecting on the blue line. Sending it down in there. That's off the glass to the line, held in. Now a shot in off a of shin pad. Johnson's back on it after hitting off a of shin pad. Now McClellan comes out and that's deflected out of play. I think off again off the keeper's mask because he's trying to find that top corner. Another face off down on the same area's end. George has had some pretty good pressure here in the same area's end. All throughout that power play and then continuing on after. Helen, one back now flicking it towards the net. Oh, Screamer just wide of the net. Norton battling. 
Battling down low. Kerr is now battling on the eye boards here. Wilson is trying to get a stick in there. Thomas comes up with it. Finally coming here is just going to be to Dorchester. Here so. Four minute head contact finally. Coming to Norton. So 2.38. St. Mary's going an extended power play. Face off one by Dorchester, sent the length of the ice. Wilsey chasing after it. Defenseman's got to be sharp here. Wilsey comes up with it. He sends it back in. But St. Mary's now breaking across the line. They got a two on or two on two. Saved by Hardeman. Cleaned up out front. Sent down the length of the ice. By Kura. Wilsey's coming in for a line change after that burst. Kura now coming in for a change as well. Candy and Divine. Divine unable to use the soccer skills there. Keep that one in. I didn't know Divine played soccer. Didn't Maybe not. Trying to cut in, but Hardeman's there with a pad, and that's now sent the length of the ice by Dorchester. Minute 47. St. Mary's dad upset, wants this play to keep going, and they're not getting it out. Now they're held in there, flicked in. Candy does not go for the open net. Tries to go, I think he just malfunctioned on that shot attempt. It looked like a pass almost back over to If it was, it was definitely one too many passes. Now sent the length of the ice by Smith. 2.38 remaining in the penalty. A minute 14 remaining in this period. Bockert's just holding it down low. St. Mary's come away with it though. Decides instead of passing the puck, let's skate her up boys. Gaining the line, coming in deep. 20 on 20 behind the net. Dorchester picking that up, sending the length of the ice and then Nice stick there by Bocker, knocking it down into the St. Mary's zone. Thomas now has it down low. He's spinning and turning down low. He's not going to give it up easy. He's trying to kill as much time as he can. 42 seconds left in the period. Thomas working hard down low. That has, how is that not a penalty? It's cross check right in the back. Good kill by Thomas here. That cross check from the friggin' chest. Johnson now battling, helping him out. Johnson comes away with it, going towards the net. Still got the puck, backhand in the net. They gotta give an assist to Thomas on that goal. That was purely set up by his play down low to get everything but a penalty call. And Johnston comes away with the goal, sending that backhander into the back of the net at 19.9 .9 seconds left in the second. Corey Chester now has a three goal lead. 19.9 seconds to be exact left in this period. Lots of time for some action still. Sent down to the St. Mary's then. Johnson battling hard again here. How is that not interference when he's chased, does have the puck? Again, I don't quite, I don't get it. And my call knocked his man down. His man was coming back after him with a whistle. The horn has ended this period. Three nothing for Dorchester. The end of two. Still a minute 22 left. <laughs> that was some good play there by Thomas on the penalty kill. Killed off lots of time. I thought he drew a couple penalties, but nothing was called by the referee. See what the third period holds for us here. So then you guys get to watch the Zamboni driver on the ice. Clean it up, he did a very good job to open this game up. So we'll see what he can do for this one. I will turn off the sound though. And we're ready to get underway here. One of the players have joined us. Everybody's out their benches and we're underway. St. Mary's pushed that puck forward. Candy has it across the line, sends a shot in off, just wide of the net. Devine sends that back into the St. Mary's end. Again, some good penalty killing here to start this one off. St. Mary's now have it crossing the line. 
Shifting wide, shot blocked to the front, out of play. Must have tipped off a stick and deflected out into the mesh. And we got a face off in the Dorchester. 14 30 left here in the third. Devine sends that one out, but drifts right on the stick of the St. Mary's player. That's off of uh, players up front. Candy gets cross-checked to score his efforts there. St. Mary's play, defender just had to slip off a stick. I thought he was going to send a rocket up. I think he did too. And that's off a leg and just settles down there and Carey sends it off the glass and past the blue line. Here are chasing this one down. Oh, he hits a, an edge there and loses it. 12 seconds left in the penalty. St. Mary's player has to slip off the stick but gets it back. Drops it for the defender there. St. Mary's now pivoting, twisting around, send the puck in deep. Got a man out front, but he just looked up for a second to see who he's going to pass to and wasn't able to receive it on a stick. Now Kerr has it there in tight, just sends that wide to the keeper. Sent back in deep. Wilson we'll going to turn around and chase after. Good pressure there. But St. Mary's forward. It got up to the half boards and got out first. Now they get it back to the neutral zone. That gets past players at center ice. Wave off icing for that play. St. Mary's player sifting around. Now sending it back to play. That's off the leg. Bockert does the block and chases after, even though he might be feeling a little bit of bees there. Goes past through the net, unable to keep control. Now he's feeling it a little bit more. Smith now after it, gets it there. Bockert gets back to the bench. For a moment that adrenaline got him down the ice. And then once he hit the end boards, that adrenaline went away. Oh, Smith now has it, pivoting back. Hounded all the way, but still got it on a stick. Now cutting towards the front of the net. Keeper with a pad save. Held in, no, not by. Well, then they are able to get it out. St. Mary's game the zone. Send a shot in wide of the net. Smith will scoop that one up, sends it back towards. Fine, but he's not able to get it onto a stick. St. Mary's tried to sift the shot through, but that's knocked down by Dorchester up front. Now McClellan breaking out. He sends that back into the back in the center ice. Johnson now has it. He goes wide to the keeper, goes a shot across the green, just missing the far side of the net. And now Norton will pick it up and go behind his net for some space. Gary will chip that out through the neutral zone. St. Mary's will send that back in. One-handed slap there by Thomas to get it back out to the neutral zone. The St. Mary's are turning up. Worried about the body contact there with the St. Mary's defender. And he did take the worst of it. Got back up and ready to go. Uh, okay, maybe I see him. He may be able to cut towards it, but it was a little harder. 11.09 remaining here in the three. for you guys at home, watching on Facebook. Dorchester have it, Clark's got it behind the back of his net, chips it up in the boards, Caton's got it there. He pivots back a bit, but St. Mary's are there. He flicks it with his backhand out across the line. One defender back for it, and Devine's chasing him. Send it up the boards, nope, held in there. St. Mary's are gonna get it out here though. He cutting through the zone, not going back. Hardman with a stick or blocker save there to keep that one from going in. And that'll be flicked out of play. We're going to get that puck back because that's by the home bench side. So, will be Bajan. Pass the puck over to Stater. He's got one set up in reserve.
Off the glass, down the ice. That's past the St. Mary's defender. Kerr is going to chase this one down. They wave icing off. St. Mary's reversing there and sending it back behind the net. Nice pressure there by Dorchester. Kerr comes up with it. Ah, Stymied mean by the defense of St. Mary's. Back to the point though for Smith. He sends it back down deep and goes low for Kerr. He's cross check hit from behind. Let it go, they say. Yep. He's coming. It's going to be okay. He's got him. Boarding. Apparently Jeremy did not see that one, so he's getting tripped for not getting to the bench. That's the worst thing that happens to you in a day. Take it. Excellent. Thanks, Deb. It's always good to get confirmation that the sound is good. Even if it's coming from a homer broadcaster. That's out of play. The Colby. Another puck went out. Down by their bench. <laughs> Come on, it's a little walk. Get some fr it's fresh air, it's nice and crisp. We gotta get it before the visitors get it. Mark gave that, Mark Thomas gave that to their back. We get another one of our pucks. And that's clubbed off the glass and down into the zone. Smith's gonna get it there at the blue line. He's gonna walk the line a little bit. Sends it back down to Devine. Oh, no, that's to McClellan. McClellan back to Smith. Smith gets shot off, but that's off the stick. The St. Mary's forward. Battle ensuing there. Johnston comes up with it. He's coming in the zone. He's got two players, three players in front of him. Third guy has the puck now. He sends it back out to the line, but not out. And tight there. Now chip back to the blue line. Smith has it. He sends it over to McClellan. McClellan going across ice to Caton. Caton with a shot in. Caton stepped in from the point. Not able to send that one past Caton. Curran now going to pick that one up. He's trying to, they're trying to hit wallpaper him. Bank down, past the open spot. Smith has it. He goes up against the, up the boards. Trying to go back across the green with McClellan, but St. Mary's player was there to cut that one off and send it back into the Dorchester end. Left up to the neutral zone. Coming back for it was Devine. He's using that. Speed to get up through his end. Now they gain the cross line. Candy has it. Trying to sift him for a shot. Didn't see one open up there, so he didn't take it. Back to the point. Shot from the point in. Pass off the keeper and wide. Scooped up there by Candy. He's now driving towards the net. Shot off keeper and in. Nice shot there by Candyman. Or Skittles, as they sometimes call him. That was a very sweet goal. Just got enough of it, put it past the keeper. He's now fixing his equipment. Ready to go. It's good as good as did go. 809 remaining here. Dorchester now going up by a four spot. Shot into the same areas and the keeper comes up to play it. Trying to find a spot out front for it. Bocker, unable to find a man. St. Mary's tipped it away. And now Dorchester setting up again in their own zone. Get a pass up that by everybody though. And down for racing. 7.44 left in the, in the game. 4 nothing. Spun there, nice blocker saved by Artiman off that quick spinorama shot. Shift up off the glass, hand pass. Yep. That was pretty easy to call. So that will come outside the zone. Yep. Yeah. Wasn't on a power play or anything. Dorchester have the puck, look it up through off the glass. Kerr is now going to be a first man on it. Chips the pass to the defender. Nice move there by Will. See a big pad saved by the goalie. 
Clark has it just slip off his stick, but he recovered enough to send it down into Thomas. He spins around, now sends it back behind the net. Wilsey picks that one up. Now he's battling down there. He sends it over in the far corner for Kura. Again, easy, 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 easy. There's times at which you wish you just don't need to do the extra. That's one of those times. Got a little bit of a discussion here on the call. what they call on this one. Two players in the box. Tapping ahead, that sounds looks like head contact. Can't read lips. I don't know if I zoomed in enough to figure that out. Nor does the boom might actually work that way. From being short or being up a player to now being short a player. Yeah, the personnel out there now, so that'll be a two minute power play now and go into St. Mary's. I can assume it was a four minute head contact. That's a good that, off the glass and now uh, through across the line. Carson Thomas back out to continue his power, penalty killing prowess. Putting on a clinic earlier in the game. Uh, it's going to be a long time to hold it if you're going to just hold it there the whole time. St. Mary's come up with it. They have some difficulty here on the Zamboni door. Now to get that in tight. Ooh, it's off a stick and goes wide. Across the bow. Keaton now chasing after this one using his freshly sharpened skates from Three Goalie Skate Shop. Good pressure there. St. Mary's still have the puck down deep in there and they go for the high guy. And across the zone, now they got a guy streaking in, it's off his skates. Ooh, that was dangerous play. Don't be want to be looking down at the puck when you're skating through the zone. Off the glass and out past the defender. Again, his soccer skills were not strong. Tipped into the zone by St. Mary's. Dorchester so are going to scoop that one up and send it the length of the ice right onto the keeper. 46 seconds left in the penalty to Dorchester. 5.45 remaining here in the period. That's going to be scooped up by Johnston. Off the very weak attempt by the St. Mary's player to get it out now. 17 has it. He's curling out. He's going to carry it up across the line. I mean, they realize that they better not just pass it. They better skate with it a bit. Back to the point. Now they're looking for something to spin around a shot. Nope. Skates towards the line, but that's sniffed out by McCall, and he sends it down the length of the ice. 16, 15 seconds left in the penalty door, Justin. 5.15 left in the period. That's knocked off a stick. McClellan now turning back to pressure them. Five seconds left in the penalty. And on that, St. Mary's goes offside with one second left in the penalty. Dorchester. One second, and they'll be back to even strength hockey with five minutes left to play in this game. Up by four. St. Mary's puck, puck up in the air, beautiful sight to see. Comes across the blue line. Bockert sends that to the blue line of St. Mary's, but no further. Devine sends it back. We're back to even strength. Puck.
Crockard sending it wide over to Devine. Devine with a rocket on the keeper. He deflects it in the corner. Devine now back with it. He goes back behind that. Gary now with the puck. Sends a puck in. That goes right off of Devine's knee. He comes off. Seems to be okay. Puck down there, down low, shot wide in the net. By Candy. St. Mary's not getting it up, now getting it across. And one player skating up, a couple players looking to join him. He's knocked off his seat. Gary circles back around, sends it up the board, half board there. It's going to be sent back. Smith has it, he goes over to Backert. Bockert now has it. It's across the lines. Looks like he's going to take a shot. He did. And lost control. Sent back. Ooh, it was a nice pass if someone was there. Unfortunately, no one was there. Johnston now sends that in deep. We'll see chasing after down low. Johnston now going to hand, or hold on to the middle. Oh, it's over to Clark. Clark tried to send it back in, but that's, that's a nice and call. They told him nice it. He did such. 328 remaining here in the third. Third choice are up 4 0. 328 remaining in the game. Johnston in for the faceoff. Scooped up there by Wilsey. I think he's trying to send it back over to somebody. Doing good just to go for a shot on the goal. Stolen away. Johnston has it on the stick. Sent it towards the net. Keeper nice it back towards the back of the net. Or behind the net. So nice to be put in his own net. Hell at the line by Smith, glove down, he moves in with it. Nice shot attempt by McClellan. He's cross-checked from behind. As he shot, Wilsey comes up with it. He looks to send that out of front. Johnston just sends it back into the fray there with Wilsey. But he comes up with it. Off a leg. St. Mary's collapsing in front of their net. That's going to be icing if it doesn't go towards the net. Nope. Hardeman goes and plays it. Up to Smith. Smith now coming across the line with some speed. Sends a shot on the keeper. He's going to hold it there. Instead of a face off down at the. Uh, would have been on that anyway, so he had to play it. You get the face off down at St. Mary's end with 2.31 locked in the period. Candio for the face off for Dorchester. Scramble draw. Devine has it. Tries to send it back to the point, but that's not able to get enough on it to get there. Now St. Mary's come across to the line. They post up. Now he circles back around, sends it in the corner. Carry on his man. That's sent back around the other side. Norton sniffs that one out. Gets there before the other forward can get there. Now St. Mary's trying to get that puck loose. Puck's still in there. Blows the whistle. It's going to be a face off down to the Dorchester end. 205 remaining here in the game. Speed slowed down just a little bit here. Shot wide of the net by St. Mary's. High and wide. It's wide, wide left, not wide right for your Buffalo Bills fans. I'll tell you when we have 13 seconds left in the game, too. Dorchester trying to get on this puck in St. Mary's and St. Mary's is trying to relieve the pressure and get it out and they send it over the glass into the stands. Give me 10 maybe another time and then we'll be up to, I'll be four trappings for 30. I'm do four, I can do four for 30. Four for 30? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a, I'll get you half a card, yeah. Yep. Ten more time? No, I got 10 more time. Sorry, doing a little bit of transactional business here while the game's going on. <laughs> trying to make some money at the, sh at the shop. My bad, sorry. These are not yelling at the referees. No, nope, you're doing good today. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Appreciate it, thank you. No worries, awesome. Good doing business with you. Yeah. Wade's skating well tonight. He is. <laughs> thank you. No worries, we're good now. All right, with that, we're another satisfied customer at the skate shop. A satisfied owner for making money. sent through and misses the bench staff there.
cat-like reflexes. Bobby and his cat-like reflexes. Clark sending that one in the hot. It was such a hot shot in there that the defenseman lost his balance. Last minute to play in this game. Clark now has it. He's looking for someone to pass it to. St. Mary's looking to get some pressure, but Caton's now got it. He's skating in the zone. He's now a little bit back pass to McClellan. He now shoots that in right into the keeper's glove. You gotta be sparing some of those plays. And he was. 45, 28 seconds left in this game. Dorchester still in front with a commanding 4 0 lead. Back to one back by Dorchester. Norton has it. He just taps against the boards. Holds there, and the keeper's going to hold on to that one. 38.9 seconds left in this one. Knocked forward by St. Mary's. Now they got some players streaking down the ice. Gaines line sends it on Hardeman right into his glove. His gloves that one down. Gets the whistle. 30.4 left in the game. Just checking to see if his reflexes are working, and they are. Face off down to the Dorchester end. One by Dorchester. Off the board. Now. Nine ironed up to the blue line, not out. Norton's trying to wait for that one to settle down to get on it. Sends that out. Let's scoop to the front now. Smith has it. He's got a lane to skate out with it. Or not, it's not. That's uh, Johnston with it. Oh, the puck was just there for Devine. Bump there. Good measure. Johnston trying to size up his man. They go around him. And that is end of the game. Hardeman and the Dragons get their shutout this evening against the St. Mary's Rock. And with that, Dorchester remains undefeated in league play. See what the weekend holds for these gentlemen. Hopefully some good things. Should be a fun time in Fort Erie at the very least. And we'll see you guys throughout the action on the weekend. Maybe with some live action, who knows. Otherwise, have a great evening. See you later. Once again, this video was brought to you by Three Goalie Skate Shop, where we settle bills at the arena.